Hello beautiful people, hope you're having an amazing day. You are a star, like this beautiful, beautiful sun. Don't let anybody dim your light. Today we're gonna to talk about what happens when you stop masturbating, watching porn, and casual sex. Okay, let's get into it. As someone, as someone who has been addicted to porn for over for almost 30 years, right? For almost, no, 25 years, let's say. 25 years, right? It's been a very, very hard habit to crack. And, you know, I had to really dive deep and understand what it is, how it was, if, why, what it was affecting me, how it was affecting me, my relationships, my uh, relationship with women, okay, my anxiety, my motivation for anything like that. So I really had to understand, you know, logically what it was doing and impacting me in so many ways. So there's that. Then also, of course, there's the release, release of your, your semen, right? So when you're releasing excessively, what is it doing? You know, are you aware what it's doing to you and your masculinity? And then of course, you've got the casual sex, right? What are you avoiding? That's the questions that we're going to ask today. So the first thing, the first things first, right? What happens when you stop watching pornography, right? You start to have so much more motivation, right? Because with pornography, right, your brain releases so much fucking dopamine, so much dopamine when you're watching pornography, right? And instead of, you know, your usual dopamine hit from, say, doing an activity, right? A chore, working out, or, you know, a task, project, instead of, it going from here to here, right? Or let's say here to here, it's gonna go from here to here because the normal amount now for your brain is all the way up here because your brain releases so much when you're watching that sort of content, right? And then now, because you're so desensitized to actually reward, right? You're just going a little bit up here and you're not getting that same hit that's why it can be so demotivating, right? When you are watching that sort of stuff, right? And the moment I let go, it's been over a year now. I'm so grateful. I've relapsed maybe once or twice, but I never masturbated to it. Super proud of that, right? I used to watch it almost every day, masturbate every day, fucking, and always looking for my next casual sex, uh, sexual counsel, sexual encounter, right? And you know, once I started to let go of that, my anxiety started to drop. My social anxiety started to drop. I could talk to women properly instead of looking at them like, oh, they're designed for me to fuck them. Ugh. No, I started to develop more respect for women, right? Stop objectifying them. Stop looking at them as sexual objects or, you know, as someone who is there to please me. Right? We're here to help each other. We're here to please each other, right? Nothing wrong with sex. Nothing wrong with rough animalistic sex, the sex that you see on there. But you got to remind yourself, a lot of that stuff is just an act, right? A lot of it's just an emphasis on penetration. There's nothing loving about it. There's nothing, there's nothing beautiful that, that comes from a loving space, right? A lot of it is just lustful, right? And, you know, once you start to remove your kind of expectations with that sort of sex right you start to deepen your intimacy with your partner or partners right and you start to feel the difference you start to feel a major shift in your connection with your partner right or the, the people you're having sex with right so once i started to let that go i started to place more emphasis on heart to heart connection eye gazing and that changed my sex forever i started to last longer i started to really feel this person's soul and energy and it was just so much more beautiful you know of course i enjoy the rough i enjoy the the animalistic stuff you know the dominating stuff time to time but when you're having beautiful tantric uh eye gazing sex it just hits a whole new fucking level right so that's the first thing when you start to let go of porn you, your, your dopamine receptors okay you start to get more dopamine from your usual activity right instead of going from here to here everything else just goes bam all right massive reward what else can we do to get more of those feel-good hormones right so yeah once you start to let go of that you start to really 
feel more motivated or life you start to feel less depressed okay now when it comes to masturbation right I stop fapping right I stop fapping I stop you check out my videos on the benefits of no fap for many reasons right retaining more of that sacred sexual fluid right to also uh, to uh, how do you say it? shift that energy around my body right shift all those minerals the important minerals that comes with uh, semen right and also to have more creative energy because again sex is an act of creative energy you're creating you're making something you're making a baby right you're creating an act you are having a beautiful dance right a sensual sexual dance with a loved one and when you can harness that energy when you harness that energy right refraining from sex refraining from masturbation refraining from porn you can put that into beautiful creations like music art videos business money all these things this is why the most successful people are aware that when you retain your seed when you retain your semen you become so much more fucking powerful so much more powerful right i started to realize that i realize that so much more nowadays i'm my libido is so much higher right my testosterone is fucking high i'm so motivated to do things right i'm not feeling lethargic or tired all the time from constantly releasing right when you retain your seed when you retain that sexual fluid right can be different for women women can orgasm all the time and not release so much fluid whereas men you're releasing a lot of important minerals you're releasing a lot of sacred energy that you could circulate in your body right and use that to manifest use that to create use that to build all right a beautiful life right instead of just giving it away so easily you've got to value you've got to value your seed gentlemen right you can give fucking life you can give life to a human being like that's how powerful you think your your seed is right so one thing i realized as soon as i let that go as soon as like porn guys started as soon, as soon as i let masturbation go I started to have more energy. I started to have more testosterone. I started to have greater sex. I started to last longer. I started to, you know, feel all of this energy running through my body, right? And started to harness that into my creative projects, into my workouts, into my business, into my everything right all all my creative outlets that's what you do when you put your energy into your creative outlets you start you start to go to a whole new fucking level try it seven days no masturbation no porn and see what happens right yes the withdrawals at first are filthy right the withdrawals are so filthy right like caffeine and sugar and drugs right but the reward is absolute discipline discipline over your emotions discipline discipline over your lower chakras right and once you hit that level you're gonna start embodying more success you're gonna start having more success right then the last one you guys is what happens when you stop having casual sex right now of course I'm still up for casual sex I'm okay with it as long as it's two consenting adults who are not trying to avoid their emotions responsibility and heart right so a lot of the times now of course you've got uh hookup culture that's really changed the way in having a beautiful intimate time with a beautiful person right and now it's just like oh how many numbers can i get how many people can i sleep with right um what can i get out of this person how can i impress my friend by getting sleeping with this person no it's really changed a lot now that's the first thing i started to realize is that when i stopped having casual sex i started to realize that i was doing it to avoid you know this deep wound within my myself right i wanted to feel validated i wanted to feel seen which you can and i do see you and i do feel you right however that's something you don't necessarily need another person to connect with right connect back to yourself and you start to realize that you know i'm loved i don't need sex to validate my existence and that's beautiful however you can still have these beautiful intimacies as long as you guys are connecting on not just a superficial level but on a deeper level right by experiencing each other fully and not trying to take you want to give that's the difference you start to realize that you're taking from other people 
by engaging in these lustful connections, right? It's just about, oh, I just want to fucking smash and go. Like, no. You got to realize, guys, that's someone's daughter, that's someone's mother, that is someone's, you know, family member. And, you know, we've got to change the way we have these experiences because we can still have these beautiful experiences with some respect, you know, put some respect to that and realize that at the end of the day, we all want to be loved, we all want to be nurtured, we want to be taken care of, right? And if you're doing it for the sake of just smash and go, then you're going to start to feel a void in yourself and not. And one day it'll catch up to you and realize that people have souls, people have feelings, people want to connect on a deeper level just like you, right? So. Those are, that's what happens when you stop having the sex, the casual sex, the masturbation, the pornography. You just become an absolute fucking warrior. You become an absolute beast. You start to embody a more beautiful energy, more creative energy, and you're gonna become more successful. You start to master your mind. You start to master those lower energies, and you start to conquer your fucking life, right? If you need help with becoming that warrior within, Okay, check out my services at danieljohnallen.com. I've got a 12-week program, an online program to help you become the beast that you were born to be. Check it out. Check out the program. Apply there. Okay, and we'll take you to that next level to improve your discipline, to improve your training, and to improve your nutrition, okay, to help you become more successful in your life. All right. If you haven't added us on Instagram, okay, add us on Instagram and Snapchat as well. Join the TikTok family at Daniel J. Allen, okay. A lot of funny content there. I share a bit more comical stuff, okay. Here, it's just a little bit more serious. I share my insights and my experiences to help you become that fucking warrior, to help you level up, all right. And for more juicy relationship content around sex, okay, check out onlyfans.com slash official Daniel Allen. I appreciate you. Thank you everyone that's been supporting the YouTube channel, supporting the memes on Instagram, okay, and all the funny content and loving connecting community on the TikTok. Big love to everyone, okay. I appreciate you. If you have any questions, just drop them down below. If this resonated with you fellas, let me know down below what's challenging you the most because I understand, you know, this, it's been so normalized that we don't realize what the norm is, right? Once we step out of that, you know, it really fucked my relationships from a very long time. And I'm so glad I let that go because I knew I deserved better. I knew I deserved love and I knew I deserved deeper, beautiful connections with the people around me, you know? So, much love, stay woke, blessed and alkalized. You can do it. I appreciate you. I believe in you. If you've got any questions, drop them down below and stay woke. Stay woke, stay blessed. You can enjoy the rest of this day. Peace out.